who also has a best of 59.01 under that one minute mark. She goes in lane seven. So the first three to qualify. The next two fastest from this and the heat previous will go through to the final. And away they get, didn't hold them as long this time as he did in the first heat. And it is Glia Nova who gets away sharpishly from lane four, but running away nicely there on the outside. It's Kim Crosby, the American there in the all red running suit on the far side. On her inside is Johanna Pretorius in South Africa, who's staying with her. And they make quite some distance out in front at the beginning. Already almost out of it is Sana Ben Harmer. But Glia Bova is struggling there on the inside. She's going to have to pick up in that punt half 200 metres. She's managing to get through the field. She knows she only has to finish in third place to qualify for the final. But at this stage, it's out in lane seven. It's Kim Crosby of the United States of America. Can she hold a form? Can she hold a technique as she heads down into the final 100 metres? Coming through on the inside. Well, I can tell you that Claire Bova, the defending champion, she's pulled up in the background. She looks like she's done a hamstring injury. But in the inside there, it's a battle between Crosby in the outside and seven. And it's... Ben Harbour, who's come through in a time of 59.11 seconds. It's not up there with her personal best, but it is a season best for Ben Harbour. But way back on the straight, Lillian Bova looked like she was struggling all the way through there. She caught up with around 100 minutes to go, did the Ukrainian. Well, that's a tragedy for her, but it's not a tragedy for that lady, Sana Ben Harbour. 59.08 it's been rounded up to. So that is a season best for Ben Harbour. Baranova, who has taken third place.